Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down this uh, awesome Black Key song right now. Uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And then I also have a bunch of helpful resources, including free courses, in that link down there. So check that link. Thanks for that extra support. And uh, let's learn this tune. So there's more than one guitar going on in this recording. One's got wah pedal going, and the other one is, uh, you know, just a bit broken up. But it's a G minor. I'm thinking of it as as this little piece. So fifth fret and then third fret across there. So that's a G minor. You know, coming from that. And so you hear this little bit. But And so that's the second fret G and B. And then up to a C major chord, but you're really only hearing mostly that G and B. So. G minor pentatonic lick. Bending on the fifth fret G string. Grabbing that sixth fret B string. Back into it again. And that second time, break into the main heavy riff. Well, relatively heavy. So that brings us to the main riff, which I'm gonna start with just on the E string and then give you a few options since it's more than one guitar part. So, starts on the third fret and has three of them, da, 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 all on the three. And then two times on the sixth fret, so. And then up a whole step two times. So that would be the eighth fret. Then it goes down, starts on that. So just one note each down, eight, six, five, back to the three, three, three six, six, eight, eight. Eight, six, five, three, three. And on the intro, three, six, 13, 10, 10, 13 to 10. Then eight, six, five, three, three. So that's that intro riff. Now, if I turn it into a full power chord with that octave up top. So there's one other alternate harmony that's happening. So you could go. I don't think that's how he's doing it because it's a harmony part, but you could add on that second hit on that sixth fret. Add that third fret of the A string while you're still holding that. So now we go into the verse, which is gonna be G power chord to C power chord with the vibe of G minor to a C major. So just think of that G power chord to C power chord with hits. And then we go to that chorus. So 
So it doesn't go up to the 13 to 10 after that intro. When it goes and it's now the official chorus, it just does that first part of that riff. Now, another thing about that riff, depending on the kind of band you were trying to play it with, it sounds really good single note distortion. <laughs> Uh, you could do octaves instead of the power chord. Sounds pretty cool, too. There's a little breakdown and I'm hearing these little triads. I just do, 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 do you every day. Something hold you every day line is in there. Uh, and I'm hearing that major third in there, not G minor. Uh, you can play this little triad here. So that's fourth fret G and third fret B and high E. Same shape. So if you're looking at the high E, three, six, eight, six, three. And the bass is going on a G note. And so that's that that's that build up right there. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for hanging out. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And then of course, once again, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and uh, checking the links as well. Hope to see you again soon. Take care.